Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hello Demsley and hi Mark, all the brothers and sisters of the Marshall family, okay, and Jason. I'm going to be showing you some more techniques now for self-defense with Helen. Helen was fantastic. We are very lucky here because we're living in a pretty quiet, safe place in the northeast of China. More safe than I lived before in London. Uh, I want me to talk about that here. And um, you know, the, vi the videos I've seen of Jason, God, that looks really peaceful. Your videos there, the place you live, looks really nice. Anyway, no, as long as you don't get eaten by a bear or something. You know, so. Anyway, basically, though, we're going to show you some techniques okay, with a Helen. In one of the videos, I showed you uh, like, if she does a swing punch. Lock and block here, okay. Now, sometimes you can like link up like this and do a lock, okay, like this arm lock, okay, using your waist there. It's the same as if she grabbed on here, I could still, you know, do that kind of thing, okay. What I want to show you is there's some techniques similar to this, okay. So, first of all, if um, Helen was here and just in a, for example, a swing punch and I've blocked, if I came with an elbow here and hit the elbow, if she does a swing from this side, I can block with my elbow here, okay, and come under here, okay. So, what you can do try again, too. So bang, see, not only using your arm, but if it's on a swing, bang, hit here, okay? You've got elbows, so it close in, and it comes in to get the bang, see? And lock here, something you can do that, okay? So you must be very quick with your elbows when they punch, see? You can block with your punching me here. I can block out, I can block with my elbow here, see? Go into a lock and hit. It's the same as if I use two arms to trap. You must be very natural when you're moving, okay? Like I said before. Thank you, Helen. Now, what, another one we can do is, for example, in the last video I told you to hold my shoulder here, how to turn away. I told you you can do this and go into here, okay? But another, another one you can do is, for example, you hold on there, hold the person's hand, come around like this, okay, as you turn around okay, with, your, with your arm, okay? Another one, you can get the control of it all, okay? Here. But sometimes it's not really necessary to do that. You can just break your way anyway, okay? You must always get the flow of the close and the far. So by that, I mean, and the root also, very important. So you've got small techniques and big techniques, including your stepping. So first of all, if, um, for example, if Helen was standing there, facing me, facing me, and if we were circling our arms, remember? So if you put your arm here, block me. Sometimes you flow like this, okay, so circle me. Keep a circle in front of you like this, okay? And you, in the beginning, you're slowly, and you stick together, okay? That's it, good, sticking together. And it's quite far away, yeah? So, now, when she wants, if she wanted to, she could come under here and can take the circle this way. This way, take me. Take, no, take me away. And continue the circle this side, see? Okay, it's the same as I could go, but I could take this, I could control the circle. Keep your back hand here. Keep your guard ready, you know? Here. When I do a circle, yeah, make sure you change your feet. Change your feet. Look at me, see? Use your waist, sink your weight. That's it, see? So, I could, for example, if she, if she could, if she was to strike me and punch me, uh, punch with this hand, or punch with this hand, I could block it, you see, and and block. So when I do that, yes, when I block, see, I can I can circle either way, either this way, and I could take it this way, then go into a lock here, okay. Or again, she kind of this leg, see, I could simply block in like an inner block using my hand or my wrist. If I use my wrist here, see, when I come in, I can take this one. If I'm very very far away, like this. I'm just here, okay, just blocking, okay, sticking. Here, see, so, stick. so, I'm gonna be showing you a technique now, okay, uh, similar to, sh so I'm gonna show you a technique now, okay, for circling your arms, okay, blocking too. First of all, for blocking, if you're far away like that, and she throws a punch, a punch from this hand, from the front lead hand to my head, I will block up here, okay, like this. You can block up like this, and you can circle, you can bring it down. When you bring down, you can strike, okay? You could even go into things like locks, like this, for example, if you're very close, okay? If she was here, and she'd hold on, I could she'd go into a lock like this, take her down and go into a lock like this, okay? Or if she was under, from this side, see, I could go into this way. So you need to know how to wrap, okay? And wrap your arms in a circle, using your waist momentum when you circle. When she blocks, I can block here, when she punches me, block here, see? I can circle. Now, maybe she will control me. She will circle me. Circle, circle me. This way, okay, this way. If she takes me this way, it's okay too. See? Then, maybe, so when she blocks me out here, she knows she can hit me here and go back. I will step back and block with this hand. Okay, and yes, the feet also too. Block in front of you. Keep the, keep the circle in front of you, okay, too. So you control me. The other way, other way, other way, other way. Other way, other way, this way. Yes, okay, good, okay, good. Now, don't go too far out, too. Keep it in front of you here, in front of you, okay? Boom, okay? Now, let's go slowly, and when we get to here, this point here, this hand must be here already, okay, behind. You can take me away and continue the circle. Here, you see? Now, shoot your back hand here always, okay? Not, 
give me the front here, okay? Go. From here. When she comes, so at this point, this hand, she can take it from under here, okay? And continue the circle. Continue this hand, back hand, behind. So don't forget to have your back hand behind as a guard to protect your face. Now, when she wants, she can stick to me, she can grab me at any time here and twist me here, no, to here to chop me or to circle in, okay? Using her arm also on top of here to circle me down, okay? Or to this way, okay? Here, okay? So, I'll show you again what I mean. So when she punches, it's the same as I would come here, you know, grab and go into here. So in the beginning, I'll be circling her like this. And then I will come under this way. See, I can hit here or come into a lot, okay? So it's, it's the same thing. When she punches from this hand, see, I can block in, punch my head. Block here, I can go under here. Same thing, okay? But her foot is in the wrong angle. If you was in this side, then you can get the lock, you can do take downs and different things. So my meaning is not to say that you always have the chance to circle someone's arm and play like this. My meaning is to just get the flow of this circle, okay? And go into strikes or whatever, okay? And be fluid in your movements. So when we're here, if she punches on this hand, see, punch, I can come here, you see? So then you can come here. So you just need to know to feel the flow, okay? When you come very close, you'll be into this angle, you see? Because on this angle, see, punching, be here, you see? And you move around this angle. So you need to know the flow of, of your angle. Also, one more, if she punches my head here, I can come in and hit here. Bang, hit under here, see? Boom, okay? And then continue. Now, so you're circling with your palms. You must feel the person's arm. Let's show you again. Just stay there. If you feel my arm, circle. Must stick together, stick together, very strong. I will have my arm here, she can move me. See, good, okay? Good, see? When I want to, I can take her away and she punches me, see? I can take her and she punches me, I can block here, you see? And I come here, you see? So, <laughs> make sure you stick towards her. I'm moving her, see? When you come, see? If she steps forward and punches me, see? I'll, I'll come from this angle, see again? When I bring it down here, see? You punch me, I'll come under here, you see? You can go, so you go straight into a lock, or here, bang and then him, see? Or under, like I say, under takedown. So basically you just need to flow very naturally. You're feeling your wrists and also your elbows. So again, if I was standing from here and just circling, see? If I was here, see? And you come punch, you will come very close to elbow, see? Bang, elbow strike, boom. It's the same as if you was here. You can do this angle, you see? From here. So you need to feel this ball, okay? When you're circling, doing circle blocks and feel the flow, okay? Again, like if she would do a swing punch, flop and palm strike, here, okay? So this is coming, when she does a straight punch, bang down, another one, another straight punch. So here you can palm, you can palm on top like this, you know? So you just need to flow with your palm and just naturally feel the way around, okay? The open space to go in, okay? Basically, okay, so anyway, train hard and stay safe. We'll show you some more techniques in the future, okay? Very good, everybody.